All right, in the last video, I talked some basics of compound inequalities, and in this video, I'm going to go into actually solving compound inequalities. Okay, if you have any questions, please make sure that you ask when this video is done, okay, and complete the compound inequalities worksheet. If you need to take a minute, please write down these four examples. Okay, these are the four that we're going to go through, so pause the video and do that. All right, for number one, we have three is less than three X, which is less than nine. Okay, and just like I would solve it, a multiple step equation, okay, or our regular inequalities, okay, I'm gonna pretend that there's an equal sign there, okay? And I wanna get X all by itself, and right now I have this three times X. So I'm gonna divide by three, and something that's unique with compound inequalities, whatever operation I perform, I have to make sure I do it to all three parts. Okay, so now I have three divided by three, which is one. I'm gonna bring down my inequality sign as is. Okay, my threes in here end up canceling, right? Because I wanted to get that X all by itself. I'm gonna bring down the same inequality less than, and then nine divided by three. I end up with three. Okay, notice that my X is all by itself, so I know that I'm done. Okay, there's no other X's, so I know I'm complete. Okay, now, if we remember back to the last video, okay, we're going to have our circles at one and at three. Okay, and both of those are gonna be open circled. Okay, because we have just less than, less than for both. Okay, and if we think back to the video and our notes from the last one, okay, we know that when we have this X kind of in between, okay, we have that kind of dumbbell look to it. Okay, so we're going to have to draw it just like that. Okay, number two over here, we have negative 4 is less than 4X, which is less than or equal to 28. Okay, same thing, I have 4 times x, so I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, okay, I have to do it to all three sides, negative 4 divided by a positive 4, I get a negative 1, I want to bring down that same inequality sign, then I just end up with x in the middle, bring down that less than or equal to sign, and then 28 divided by 4, I end up with seven. Okay, so that would be my final answer. Okay, and notice this time I'm gonna have an open circle at negative one. Okay, and I'm gonna have a closed circle at positive seven. Okay, since it's the same idea with the X kind of squished in the middle, I'm gonna end up with this dumbbell look here that we talked about in the last video. Okay, let's go on to maybe some more difficult ones. Number three and number four. Okay, so for number three, okay, I'm first gonna subtract my nine from every side, okay? Just like I would if I was solving a multiple step equation. Okay, if it helps, you can draw two lines. Okay, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming with a lot of things, so it's up to you. Okay, 9 minus 9, I end up with 0, is less than or equal to, I end up with my 2x, okay, my same sign from above, less than or equal to, 21 minus 9, I end up with 12. Okay, and then the last step, okay, I'm going to divide by 2, because I have 2 times x, so I'm going to divide by 2, to every single part. 0 divided by 2, I end up with just 0, is less than or equal to x, because my 2's cancel, less than or equal to 6. Okay, so I end up with 0, is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 6. 
I'm going to have closed circles at both 0 and at positive 6. Okay, same idea. We have that x kind of in between here, so we're going to have our dumbbell look. Okay, number four is an important one to pay attention to, okay, because we're going to go back to uh, one of our rules, and you'll see that here in just a minute. Okay, I'm first going to add five, okay, to all three sides, so I get nine is less than negative three x, which is less than fifteen. Okay, notice here. We have a negative 3 times x. Okay, so this time I'm going to divide by a negative 3. Now, what happens when I divide by a negative when I have inequalities? I'm going to flip my signs. So I'm going to have negative 3 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 5. See how I flipped my signs? Okay, flipped, flipped, because I divided by a negative. Okay, that rule doesn't change whether it's regular inequalities or compound inequalities. Okay, I'm going to have a closed circle at negative 3 and a closed circle at negative 5. Okay, still we have that idea with x in between, so I'm still going to have my dumbbell. Okay, if you feel like that you're understanding this, okay, at this point you may move on to the compound inequality worksheet, okay, or you can do these next two problems with me. Okay, so you can choose to continue watching, okay, or you can move on to your compound inequality worksheet. Okay, so for number five and six, if you're choosing to stay with me, okay, please pause the video now and write these two examples on your sheet of paper. All right, so we're getting into a few more difficult problems. Notice that we have a few more steps in here. We have parentheses. Hey, okay, remember when we have parentheses and a number out in front? We're going to perform our distributive property first. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that 8 there because I haven't done anything with it yet. Okay, so I'm kind of just rewriting my problem. Okay, and then we have 4 times x, so I end up with 4x. 4, 4 times 4, so plus 16, which is less than 16. I haven't done anything with that 16, so I'm just rewriting it. Okay, the only things that I changed was the inside. Okay, I did my distributive property. Okay, then just like in numbers 3 and number 4, okay, I'm going to subtract that 16 first. Okay, because I want to get that x all by itself. So I end up with a negative 8 is less than or equal to 4x. Okay, my 16's canceled, which is less than. 16 minus 16, so I get 0. Okay, the last step here is getting rid of that 4. And since there's multiplication, I'm going to divide every part by 4. So I get negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 0. I always like to box or circle my answers so it's easy to look back on. Okay, I'm going to have a closed circle at negative 2. Okay, so closed. And I'm going to have an open circle at 0. Okay, I'm going to have that dumbbell look here again. Okay, and the last one, number 6. Okay, again, notice I have the distributive property again. Okay, so I'm just going to rewrite this negative 3 because I'm not going to do anything with it yet. So negative 3 times x, I get negative 3x. 
Okay, and then I have a negative 3 times a negative 3, which ends up being a positive 9. And then I just rewrite my 5 because I haven't done anything with it yet. Okay, so then, again, I'm going to subtract 9 first to get x all by itself. I end up with negative 12 is less than negative 3x, which is less than or equal to negative 4. Okay, my last step here, okay, I'm going to divide by a negative. And what happens when we divide by a negative number? Okay, we're going to flip those signs. Okay, so now I'm going to have a greater than. I'm going to have a greater than or equal to sign. So just have to flip them. Negative 12 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 4. Okay, and then I have x, okay, and a negative 4 divided by a negative 3. I end up with a positive 1.3. Okay, I'm going to have an open circle at 4 and a closed circle at about 1.3. And you can estimate a little bit when it's a decimal. Okay, and the dumbbell. Okay, notice that I didn't go through any with the or. Okay, and you're just going to solve those like you would a regular inequality. Okay, you're just going to have two separate problems. Okay, and you'll realize that and see it pretty quickly on your compound inequality worksheet.